India has issued a no time warning for a range of 3550 kilometers for the period between 5th and 7th of January 2025 which could be the test of the improved and 20% lighter Agni 5 Mark II MERF capable variant that has a range of 7000 kilometers and can reach targets as far as 9000 kilometers with a lighter payload the gas turbine research establishment has proposed the engagement of retired personnel from the Army Air Force and Navy, to assist in critical material characterization and testing activities for aero engine materials. Hyderabad-based Apollo Microsystems has been awarded a significant contract to manufacture 10 sets of the manned portable anti-tank guided missile. The CEO of Larsen and Tubro has expressed the company's readiness to undertake the simultaneous construction of submarines under the Project 75I, if the Ministry of Defence and the Indian Navy deem it necessary. Adani Defence has acquired 85% stake in India's largest private aviation maintenance repair and overhaul services firm Air Works for 400 crore rupees. Pune-based drone Acharya Aerial Innovations has signed a MOU with Canada-based Vilatus Aerospace to assemble logistics drones in India. Pakistan has announced that it will procure 40 Chinese J-35 stealth fighter jets, that will be delivered within two years. The Indian Armed Forces are replacing older battery technologies with modern lithium-ion solutions on older generation drones. Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders has successfully indigenized the production of polychlorobene rubber, which is a critical component for enhancing submarine stealth capabilities. A retired Indian Air Force official has said, that inclusion of even a limited number of latest F-35A Block 4 fighters by the Indian Air Force, will effectively evaporate the confidence of pilots flying China's J-20 or J-35A stealth fighters, but for the deal to go through, the US is likely to impose its operational separation from the Russian-made S-400 air defense system, and will also require an end-use monitoring system to track the aircraft deployment and ensure compliance with operational restrictions which are standard for all countries operating the F-35, including key allies like Israel. India could also negotiate customization options like Israel, like integration of indigenous weaponry and electronic systems. While engaging private sector players, Indian Army has assured that the selected next-generation tank under the FRCV program will have a guaranteed production run of 1,650 units, divided into three batches of 550 units each. Each participating company will receive funding and access to technology and designs, that will enable firms to introduce their own modifications and innovations, thus offering the Army a range of options during the final selection process. By structuring the program this way, companies will be able to recover their costs after the delivery of the first batch, thereby mitigating financial risks and encouraging significant investments in the development and production of the next generation tanks. India's upcoming Project 77 nuclear attack submarines will be integrated with conformal flank array side array sonar systems, that are designed for passive acoustic monitoring, which will play a pivotal role in enhancing detection and tracking capabilities while maintaining stealth. It will be strategically placed along the hull of a submarine, that will provide 360 degree passive monitoring of its surroundings. Passive sonar systems do not actively transmit sound, and they rely on detecting the propeller noise or other distinct sounds generated by approaching threats. Today's top 3 comments. <laughs>